No way, Jose. Buenas tardes, amigos de los fichines. Hello, YouTube. Okay, so for this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to connect a real arcade low high shifter so you can use it with main. Because, you know, these shifters can be tricky. And let me tell you something else. Back when I was building this machine, I looked everywhere for, me, for some information about this kind of shifter, and there's nothing. Nothing. So for those of you who want to learn about this thing, uh, and I know it's a very small number of people, but for those of you, this video is gold. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is the low high shifter. It's a shifter that has two positions, low gear and high gear. And you know, for your surprise, on the inside, there's just one single micro switch, just one. So basically this whole thing works like one button. And the way it works is like this. When the shifter is in one of the two positions, what it does is it, it, it holds down a button all the time. This is what it does. And when you change the position, it releases the button. That's how it works. Now, the big problem, the big problem with this shifter is that pretty much half of the games that have this kind of shifter use the micro switch the other way around, you know, like, like, like backwards. And what I mean is this, on some games, if you hold down the button, that's the low gear. But on some other games, if you hold down the button, it's the high gear. And that's something that you cannot change. That's something that has to do with the way the game was written. So there's nothing you can do to change that. So that means that if you hook the shifter as it is with main, half of the games are going to be wrong, are going to be, you know, backwards, which, you know, sucks so what can we do to fix this problem okay so this is what you need to do okay so this is a micro switch a micro switch has three legs this leg right here this is the ground this is something that you will definitely use this is the ground and then you have these other two options which are normally open and normally closed uh, when it comes to arcade games we always use the normally open option that means that this wire and the ground wire will not touch each other until you press the button. That's what we use when we play in arcade games. The other option is the exact opposite. The other option means that this wire and the ground wire will touch each other all the time until you press the button and you break the connection. Uh, something that we all know very well, and I think this is the reason why no one figured this out before, something that we all know very well is that you have to choose one. Between these two, you have to choose one. Because if you connect both of them, uh, basically you're asking the micro switch to be open and closed at the same time, which is, you know, like a short circuit or something. But how about we connect this one to one button on your button interface and the other one to a different button on your button interface? Let's say button one, button two, ground. Well, believe it or not, that works. That works. That is exactly what you should do. If you do this trick, your PC or Raspberry or whatever it is you have will think that you have two completely independent buttons, even though in reality, <laughs> you just have one micro switch, which is great, and which is what we want. So let me open the control panel in Windows so you can see how it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, every time I move the shifter, one button lights up. So instead of having just one button like before, now I have two. Uh, this means that now you can fix all the games that were wrong because the only thing that you need to do is to choose the other button and that's it. You're done for good, that's it. Okay, so this video has finished. I don't really need to say anything else, but let me tell you something else. <laughs> Maybe now that you realized that there's gonna be a button pressed down at all times, you're thinking, okay, this is great, but this is going to be a problem when it's time to configure things in main, because you're thinking, as soon as I want to choose something else, MAME is going to read the shifter. Well, no, that's not going to happen, because MAME will only read something that is changing state. So for MAME to read something, you have to let go of the button and press it again. So that's why what I'm showing you right now, it's perfect. It's, it's flawless. It really is. So this is how you connect a real arcade low-fi shifter so you can use it with me. That's it. Have fun. Nos vemos, amigos.
Feliz año nuevo.